What's up guys welcome back to yet another in-depth review and in this video we'll be doing review of Oxygen OS 13 open beta 2 which was recently released for OnePlus 8, 8 Pro, 8T and OnePlus 9R. There are few bugs which I have encountered while using my OnePlus 8 as a primary phone running Oxygen OS 13. We'll discuss about them and we'll also let you know guys about other things like battery backup, gaming performance etc. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So here we have our OnePlus 8. Let me show you the software information first. If you go to about section, here you can see our device is running second open beta based on Oxygen OS 13 and the version was F.12. And guys, if you wish to install this build, you can find the download links in the description below. Download them and update your device manually. But right now I won't recommend you guys to update your device to open beta 2 because there are few issues which you guys will get to know in this video. Very soon OnePlus will be releasing the stable build of Oxygen OS 13 for oneplus 8 series oneplus 9 series have already received if you have oneplus 9 then you can watch the video which is being displayed on the screen and guys before talking about the issues let's keep a like target of 500 likes and we are just 300 away from 100k so if you guys find our videos helpful to you make sure you subscribe our channel because we'll be getting a lot of new content after 100k i know you guys can help us reach 100k before the end of this week okay now let's talk about the issues which i have encountered along with that guys i have also seen a lot of users asking me about the green line issues and for the green line issues guys i have made a detailed video you need to watch that so that you guys will get a fair idea why it is occurring on oneplus smartphones and what you can do to avoid that thing so video is given in the description below also you can see on the screen this is the video which you guys need to watch okay so one issue which i have encountered on my oneplus 8 is related to disconnecting the call using power button so let me search for that option though that option have been turned off everywhere so if you go to ability section here you can see we have turned off this option which says press power button to end the call still if i press the power button the incoming call gets disconnected i have turned off from here also other than this i did not find any option in the settings we do have an option of end call using power button but this is only when you have already received the call so i think this is a bug hopefully it will be fixed in the upcoming builds and another thing which you guys will notice so here i have a screenshot of that so here you can see while charging your device on the lock screen we get to see warp charging and if you go inside the battery section here we get to see vook charging so again a minor issue and this doesn't affect the charging speed or anything else and the next issue is related to youtube application in my previous videos also i have mentioned most of the times i have seen videos getting stuck for few milliseconds while watching them and soon i installed beta 2 this thing was stopped but it's again started to appear on my oneplus 8 and i'm exactly not sure whether it's an issue with the youtube application or there's something wrong with oxygen os 13 along with that PIP mode also have some issues. I have the screenshot so let me show you that. So here you can see this was the screenshot when I switched to PIP mode. This is how it appeared in landscape mode and again when I turned the device in normal mode the PIP option was appearing towards the bottom side. I tried multiple orientation but it was the same case with the YouTube PIP mode. So as I told you guys, I'm not sure whether it's an issue with YouTube application or it's something related to Oxygen OS 13. And there are few users who have been asking us about the 90 Hertz in all the application. So guys, in all the applications, you won't get the 90 Hertz support and those changes are made to save some battery. But if you guys want 90 FPS, you can try applications like Auto Hertz because by default, if you open any application, for example, right now you can see 90 Hertz is enabled i mean to say the peak refresh rate and if i open applications like instagram so let me open up instagram and here you can see the device switches to 60 fps this is not the case with instagram most of the apps switches to 60 fps or 60 hertz when we open them so this is how it is meant to be on oxygen os 13 you guys can try out adb methods and other methods to get 90 hertz constant on all the applications but remember one thing that will drain a lot of battery now talking about another issue so here on the lock screen if you tap any of these shortcuts let me show you i'll again turn off the screen so if you tap any of the shortcuts from here so if i tap this google assistant shortcut you can see the text appears on the top side which should not happen it should appear towards the bottom side and the same thing goes with the other shortcut if i tap here you can see it says swipe from icon for camera 
सो आई थिंक इट्स अ माइनर पैडिंग इश्यू विच विल बी टेकन केयर इन अपकमिंग बिल्स बट वॉट आई फील दिस शुड नॉट बी ऑन द टॉप साइड इट शुड अपियर टूवर्ड्स द बॉटम साइड फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन वी टैप इन द सेंटर इट सेज स्वाइप अप टू अनलॉक द सेम थिंग शुड अपियर हियर टूवर्ड्स द बॉटम साइड इंस्टेड ऑफ ऑन द टॉप साइड एंड वेन इट कम्स टू नोटिफिकेशन देर आर फ्यू मोर इश्यूज so i have the screenshots of that so here you can see most of the times if you receive any notification if you want to reply from the notification panel itself soon you tap on the expand icon it covers the entire area without giving the option to reply and this doesn't happen always and not with all the applications i've seen this happening with applications like telegram whatsapp and even on twitter here's another example which you guys can see this happened while using telegram application Another thing which I noticed on Oxygen OS 13 is related to font. So here if you see with fonts like 1 sans and 1 plus sans we can change the font weight but that doesn't happen with Roboto. I'm not sure whether this will remain same but it should not happen like this. We should have an ability to change the font weight. And now talking about some of the questions which users have asked us and one of them is related to casting issues. So I did test out one user was facing issues casting applications like Netflix and Hotstar. YouTube casting was working fine. I did test out with my MI TV. I personally had no issues related to casting. And there are no issues using payment applications. I mostly use Google Pay, HDFC application also I have used on this device and there were no issues during my usage. Gmail application still have issues with the notifications. Most of the time I don't get to see any notification from Gmail application. Though the background management is good enough on Oxygen OS Open Beta 2 as I told you I have been testing this device and this build easily handle a lot of applications in the background. And guys I don't know why many users ask about the dialer change. So personally guys one thing let me clear if your device came out of the box with Google dialer that will continue to have Google dialer but if your device came out of the box with Oxygen OS dialer your device will have Oxygen OS dialer it doesn't matter if you are running Oxygen OS 12 or Oxygen OS 13 So remember this thing if your device came out of the box with Google Dialer your device will continue to have Google Dialer. Okay now let's talk about the battery backup. So here you can see I've been constantly getting around 4 hours of screen on time with my regular usage and this is not with extreme gaming gaming for around 15 20 minutes and it was the same case on beta 1 and i used to get similar results on oxygen os 12 also so personally for me battery backup does not get affected much it's almost the same and i use my device with ambient display turned on without playing any game my device delivers more than 5 hours of screen on time with little bit of gaming it drop downs to 4 plus hours and as always i say battery backup depends on tons of factor so every individual will have an different battery backup charging speed is also okay on oxygen os 13 beta 2 though i did notice bit of extra heating issues while charging the device and using it at the same time i have observed the temperature going up to 40 degree celsius moving to the camera segment here i did not find any kind of significant improvements none of the brands do much of improvements when they release any newer android version they generally fix all the things after few months of the device release but while recording videos at 4k at 60 fps i did notice little bit of jitters and that happens initially for 2 to 3 seconds not much after that device records the video properly and it only happens with 4k at 60 fps with 4k at 30 fps i did not see any kind of jitters and now let's talk about the gaming stuff so when it comes to gaming now i started testing different games also excluding bgmi but i still play bgmi so if you talk about bgmi you don't get the support of 90 fps and yes there are a lot of frame drops which you guys will notice while playing classic games in tdm's device does a good job but when it comes to classic games and when you indulge in fights there you'll see a lot of frame drops so i would suggest to try out different games other than bgmi i also tested out game called grid auto sports it's a paid game i have purchased this game to test out on oxygen os 13 this game comes with some intense graphics guys and with no doubt my oneplus 8 constantly delivered 60 fps though device did heat up here in bangalore temperature doesn't go about 23 24 degree celsius but when i started playing the game the device temperature was somewhere around 25 26 and after 15 minutes of gaming not even 15 minutes 10 minutes of gaming the temperature reached up to 42 degree celsius so 
heating issues are seen on beta 2 of Voxygen OS 13. But if you guys doesn't care about these minor issues and heating stuff, you can anytime upgrade your device. But I would recommend wait for few days. OnePlus will be rolling out the stable build of Oxygen OS 13 pretty soon for OnePlus 8, 8 Pro, 8T and OnePlus 9R. So guys, this was all about the Oxygen OS 13 Open Beta 2 in-depth review. If you still have any kind of questions, you guys can let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys gonna like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.